This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Another day, another trip to Eastern Washington. On today's venture out east, I am making my way to the town of Yakima. It's my dad's hometown where he grew up. It's nestled right in the Yakima Valley in central Washington, and I'm actually taking the old highway in between Ellensburg and Yakima to get there, the Yakima River Canyon Highway, as opposed to Highway 82, which runs over the nearby mountain range. This one kind of snakes right along the Yakima River. It's got absolutely gorgeous vistas and views, so I'm excited to stop off, take some landscapes before we get into Yakima. But before we get into the Yakima River Canyon, I've stopped off on the side of the road because you guessed it, I've found an old decrepit building to photograph. You know the rules when you're a film photographer. You see something old, you go take a photo of it. So that's exactly how I'm starting the day. And I think I'm seeing a couple of different compositions I can get of this building. So let's dive into it. I think I'm gonna take two different photos here. One kind of a more straight on, and then I'm gonna bounce over to the right side because there's these two trees right in the background that I can fill up the frame with, which should look pretty cool. But we'll start off with this kind of classic straight on view. And it's still 50 deep. See how she does. Okay, first stop, right next to the river, through the 55 on. I'm gonna try to get a nice wide view of the surrounding kind of rolling hills and then, of course, the river itself. Pulled off because I'm wondering if I can get a nice isolated photo of this tree right here with the hills in the background on the 105. Moving up a little bit further with the 55. Spotted some layers off in the distance that I think will look quite nice on the 105 lens. Load up this roll of Portra 400 now. Just stopped off of this recreational area. I think there might be a couple cool photos to get of this bridge. This river's kind of moving. I want to jump in and see where I end up. Throwing the 105 on because there's this couple having lunch up on the ridge. Looks really cool. I just need a little bit tighter perspective. I spotted an airstream just beneath this ridge. I think it might be a cool photo. I'm gonna try to get a good vantage point. As I was leaving the parking lot, I spotted a photo I wanted to get of this woman and her Subaru that were parked in a kind of neat parking area. I mean, it's my Subi twin. How can I not take a photo of that? Would you mind if I took a photo of you? Okay, just, just from like afar. I love your car parked right there for some reason. Thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. Portra is done. Guys, I swear, every time I jump in cold water on this channel, I forget to turn my mic on. As I was saying while the mic was off, make no mistake about it, this water is freezing cold, straight mountain runoff. We make sure the mic is on when we jump in rivers around here, so we're doing it again. Ah! 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 All right, full submerging. Woo! Ah! 
Oh, yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yep. Got another decrepit item on the side of the road. Loading up a roll of Portra 160 this go around. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can only get one meal while you are in Yakima, I'd highly recommend it be Miners. Excuse me. You guys can totally say no. I'm just making a video about Yakima today, and I wonder if I could get a candid shot of you just doing your thing. Thank you, I appreciate that. Do you have an email or anything? I can send it to you once I get the film developed. Well, everyone, I may have lied. Uh, I think it's acceptable to get a meal at maybe many other places in Yakima if you're here, because burger and milkshake, $19 bit steep for me uh, probably steep for anybody to be honest so yeah uh, do with that information what you will but you can't deny the glory that is the big minor burger thing is just stupidly large I wish that I could see what the hell is wrong with me but I don't no, I'm getting there, but it's getting so hard I guess I should have known The way to let it go, but I don't No, I'm getting there, and it's breaking your heart They haven't gotten picked off the premises yet. I will chalk this up as a dub. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this Super 8 Motel. The 105 lens. Kind of frames up perfectly and there's some nice uh, cloud break in the background as well. Might be possible to get this with no cars. Oh, got it. Woo! Last shot of the roll too, let's go. I've shot two and a half rolls of film today and I think I got time and energy for one more. It's about 5.30 in the evening. I'm gonna cruise around Yakima, see if I can find 10 more subjects to photograph. I'm gonna get on the roads here in Yakima and see what I can find. I spotted this wash building for semi-trucks. Looks kind of cool, I think this is gonna be the first frame I grab of the final roll. Hey, random question. Are you guys okay if I uh, if I take a picture of this building with you guys in front of it? Okay, I'm just making a little video about Yakima today and this is a really cool scene with you guys just hanging out in front of the building. So, yeah, cool. All right, thank you. Perfect. Thanks guys. If you're okay with it, I'd love to get you standing right there like that. That's awesome, thank you. Perfect, thank you so much. Appreciate that. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Have a good night. I'm, I'm Bray, by the way. Appreciate you. You can just hang out and do your thing and act natural. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Well, everyone, a massively unfortunate way to end the night. The photo you just saw me try to take of that family hanging out by their pickup truck in the driveway. 
um, didn't come to be because the battery died on the Pentax. So mirror just stayed up, film completely exposed. I uh, actually went back and tried to photograph them again because I tried to take the battery in and out and just see if it was a one-off kind of thing. But same thing happened the second time, unfortunately. And I popped into a gas station just to see if they might by chance have one of these batteries, but they didn't have any batteries at all. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hunt one down this late at night um, because it is kind of an odd battery. So really unfortunate because I was just kind of getting in a groove there photographing some things that are a bit out of my comfort zone for sure. And uh, I think that photo of that family that I tried to take would have been really, really cool. But it is what it is. I'm gonna end the night here, unfortunately. Um, but I'm, I'm coming back to Yakima because there's a lot of fascinating things to photograph here for sure. And it's uh, definitely something that is a bit out there for me because I'm usually not in environments like this. So I was having a blast kind of going around to different parts of the neighborhood I was in and asking people if I could photograph them and just photographing anything that I found interesting. So gonna have to get a new battery for the Pentax. Um, until then, take it easy guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Well, if you made it till the end of the video, I really appreciate it. I'm, of course, going to wrap things up by thanking the people that allow me to drive thousands of miles in my car exploring Washington State while gas prices are absolutely astronomically, diabolically ridiculous right now. Today, those are the wonderful folks over at Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for about five years now. I've built three websites using their platform, just utilizing the custom templates that they have available on the website. I've purchased all of my domains through Squarespace, and overall the experience has been a breeze. They are fantastic to work with. They have 24 seven customer support if you run into any issues or need guidance with anything. They also have great features built right into the site like SEO strategies, marketing tools, and e-commerce management. So whether you're looking to start a photography portfolio, a website for your next business, or just a simple blog, Squarespace is going to be the place to go. If you're looking to help support the channel and you want to get 10% off your next purchase of a website or domain, you can check the link in the description or use code BRAY at checkout to do so.